Hi everyone and welcome to another read out loud of my articles. In today's article I'm going to read a bit about my user research related to the Google UX course I took on Coursera. Let's dive in! Conducting user research for social good project in Croatia. I took the last Google UX course as a final challenge of 2022 and here it is how it is going. Learning about user experience started while I was still working at my regular job in 2020. As with every position in the beginning, you are still learning about the company and the ongoing projects, processes and company culture. But with time, you also start doing things that are not really in your job description, if you are lucky to have one, of course. When I wasn't at work, I would watch videos about user experience, read books on the topic and explore niches that design in general can outstretch. I got so curious that at the time when we were creating a mobile game prototype with my friend, I was considering to niche down into user experience in gaming. But who knows, one day I really might, especially after finishing my time at Porsche. Anyway, what was the title of this article? Ah yes, user research. I chose a topic for the project to be design user experience to help people have access to local city libraries. So here is a little backstory on why I chose this to be my topic. I love reading and I'm trying to have a kind of minimalistic lifestyle or at least buy only necessary things. So naturally I became a member of the Zagreb City Library in September 2021. Then, as soon as I realized that I cannot borrow more than one book at a time, I needed a way to extend my lending. Then, I was introduced to simple web application used by the library. The services that you can use through the web application are View and modify your profile data Pay online overdue loans of the books View your debts, reservations and loan history Search and browse the catalog of available books to lend. And that's it. Here comes my desire to create something different, slightly improved. The mobile app that is available on Play and App Stores has the same layout as the web application available through any browser. So of course, as someone who uses the application at least once a month, I got a bit friction through the user interface and hence the idea that this is a perfect topic for a project to work on. If you wonder how my research is going, I'll be honest, it is progressing very slowly. You can imagine how narrow my pool is when the users should first fit these requirements. 1. They should be members of the Zagreb City Library. 2. Using or have used the Zagreb City Library web app before. 3. Being open and willing to fill out the survey, quantitative. 4. Willing to participate in one-on-one -on -one interview, live or online qualitative. So yes, I have created my scope for the research, shared my survey and posted about the interview with friends and acquaintances. Also, left a flyer in three big libraries in the city. My interview questions are also ready and I will practice with a friend this week. Last week, I also went to scout for my interviewees in the library reading room, but I forgot about the being quiet part. I also reached out to the headmistress of the main library office too, so wish me luck. By the way, I completed the course and I successfully got my certificate and I cannot wait to apply all the knowledge I gathered through the process into my future projects. Thank you for listening and consider giving me a subscribe or follow depending on which platform you are actually consuming this episode. And of course, reach out if you want and you can, uh, leave your thoughts and comments in uh, the comment section because uh, your feedback really motivates me to create more content. And I'm wishing you a great week. Also, if you have social media, you can find me on Instagram at Angelova Nicoleta Design or on LinkedIn with a note. I found your episode very interesting about this and that. And we can connect on LinkedIn as well at Nicoleta Angelova. See you in the next one. Bye.